On today's IRS tax refund update with one week to go until the tax filing deadline, we will take a look at the latest developments including the release dates for the next rounds of tax refunds scheduled for release. From there, we will take a look at those who are still not seeing any updates to their refund status results or tax transcripts even months after filing, and the possible steps to take for assistance. And finally, we will take a look at those impacted by delays under the 570 transcript code, including one specific group of filers. Starting off with the latest developments as the next round of direct deposit tax refunds is scheduled for release on April 10th, as confirmed by the refund status results seen here. Now, for those part of this latest refund batch, most will receive that deposit the day of, if not before, but allow up until April 15th for it to post to your bank account before initiating a payment trace with the IRS. Meanwhile, the next round of paper checks is scheduled for release on April 12th as confirmed by the tax transcript seen here. Now, while most will receive those paper checks in the mail, within 7 to 10 business days, you must wait 30 days before initiating a payment trace. Meanwhile, the IRS has released their latest set of processing numbers, which now show 88.8 .8 million tax returns have been processed out of the 90.3 million filed this year. However, the backlog of unprocessed tax returns has grown for another consecutive week, to now over 1.5 million remaining, which includes many of our viewers. Now, we do expect this number to continue to grow over the next several weeks, as we usually see a late rush of those filing their taxes close to the tax filing deadline. Also, as a reminder for those experiencing refund delays that overdue tax refunds will start accruing daily interest, beginning 45 days after the tax filing deadline. Moving on to those tax refund delays, as we are hearing from a number of you who have not seen any updates to your refund status results or tax transcripts even months after filing. Now, first off, for those of you who are only checking your refund status results, we continue to advise you to check your tax transcripts and locate any 570 return hold or 810 refund freeze codes that could be the cause of your delay. However, for those of you who are still seeing no tax return filed or no updates on your tax transcripts in over one month, this has become a common occurrence, specifically impacting those who filed in early to mid-February based on viewer feedback. Now the IRS is aware of this reported issue. However, they will not indicate the reported cause, simply informing taxpayers that their tax return is still being processed and to call back in the next two to four weeks for an update. We do suspect this is an issue of not all e-filed tax returns being pushed into the system for processing even after being accepted by the IRS. Unfortunately, this is not a new situation, and it has been a common problem we have reported on in previous years, especially as the IRS still continues to run computers using programming from the 1960s called COBOL. With IRS phone representatives not providing assistance when it comes to this particular issue, we continue to recommend two options for viewers to consider in getting further assistance which we have also recommended in previous years, which did get results for a number of our impacted viewers, starting off with opening up a case with the taxpayer advocate. Now, the TAS is a government agency independent of the IRS, but under the Department of Treasury that helps taxpayers resolve issues including obtaining tax refunds. Now, the advocate office will open up a case and assign an advocate who will work with you and communicate with the IRS on the details of your situation. Now, while the agency had not been accepting new cases earlier in the tax season, it appears they are and will no doubt be flooded with new cases as the month moves along. So it is advised you open up a case immediately. For more information, please visit their website or contact them by phone with the details provided here. Meanwhile, the second option is to contact your local congressional representative's district office about your tax issue. Now there are congressional staffers specifically assigned to help constituents with their issues, and this option has been successful to many of our views in the past. However, it is important you contact your specific representative's office and not someone else. To find your specific congressional representative, visit the House of Representatives website at the link listed above where you will be able to enter your zip code to find the contact information for your particular representative. Now again, these are two options you will want to consider if you are seeking further assistance. We continue to hear from viewers also impacted by the 570 tax transcript code, many of whom are receiving the CP05 notice as seen here, indicating the IRS is verifying the tax return in question and needs an additional 60 days to review. Now, while many who are impacted by this problem may be subject to random tax review, we have seen a significant number of those who withdrew from their retirement accounts in 2023 be subject to this review as well. Since this retirement withdrawal is not ordinary income you normally receive, 
We do believe it is causing a trigger in the IRS computer system that is pushing the return into a review period. The IRS, if they have not received it from the issuer, may end up requesting that 1099-R form you received detailing the retirement withdrawal so that tax processing can continue. Finally, a reminder for those of you who check your refund status results throughout the day that the IRS only updates the results once a day, usually between the hours of midnight and 6 a.m., and that if you do not see an update by the morning, you are unlikely to see an update the rest of the day. However, a number of viewers continue to check multiple times a day before finally encountering this message, indicating they have exceeded the maximum attempts to check in a day. So again, if there is no update by the morning, you will not need to check again until the following day. Let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax issue. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.